So before going on to the 3D printed parts and how they're prepared and uh, mounted onto the, onto the frame, I'd like to show you the differences for the dual Z-axis version of the frame. So essentially the same as the single Z-axis version except for these additional two members on each of the sides of the frame. So these are uh, the same length as the top and bottom of course and mounted 130 millimeters below the underside of these um, these cross these uh, these members themselves, so this is where the uh, the two uh, stepper motors for uh, the dual Z axis will go, and we'll get to that uh, a little bit later and how they're mounted up. But I'd also like to show you what I've done here. I've mocked up this. This is potentially another uh, way to uh, to mount a lead screw and stepper motor for this for the single Z axis version. So uh, as per the previous. Um, Video. It's got a normal stepper motor with a uh, with a coupling there, and the printed parts are identical. So here we have the uh, the Z axis stepper motor mount, and down the bottom here we have exactly the same printed part. And what you'll see here is a uh, a 608 or a flange version of the 608 bearing here, and that just pushes straight in. It's the same size as the uh, as the uh, the hole for the stepper motor themselves. So here I've just used a, uh, well this is the, the M8 threaded rod version and I'll just use some M8 nuts here, just one on the underside here and one on top. Clamp down on either side of the bearing to take the thrust loads of what would be the build platform. So theoretically that should take all of the load without putting any load onto the, uh, the step motor coupling here and uh, not causing any Z ripple. An alternative is to use a T8 threaded rod with T8 um, leads uh, nut. Now rather than, uh, because we can't actually buy a nut to, uh, to clamp either side of the bearing, potentially the, uh, using these, uh, these shaft collars, these locking shaft columns, on, on either side of that bearing may actually work to take the thrust load. So there's an idea for, uh, for those who wanted, well some people want to build a very very tall version of the Hypercube Evolution, and of course buying integrated uh, lead screws is very expensive and really impossible to get. And uh, so potentially an option for those of you who want to build a very, very tall Hypercube evolution.